Well, um, business thriving in Nigeria is more than um, what you, you you obviously learnt in business school. Um, Nigeria is very a tough place, actually. Um, what I call the um, University of Life in business. You know, looking at all the challenges in Nigeria, all you need to do is to think about a solution and in commercializing the solution where business opportunity lies. So I think um, everyone needs to just identify a problem somewhere and think about creating solution and the ability to commercialize the solution and communicate your, your solutions to people, then business is born. Um, a typical day for me is um, you know, waking up in the morning, um, praying with my family, um, getting ready for work and um, um, drive to work and the first thing is meeting with my executive assistant, um, asking her about the meetings that are scheduled for the day. Then after that, uh, meet with my senior management team. You know, we have some strategy sections and things like that. So, and that's how the meetings from here and there, and especially with my corporate and business clients, um, meetings with them and um, making phone calls with my resellers. And then um, just touching base with um, all the stakeholders in the business. We are getting our recipes in at the moment. Okay. So we'll have some nice breads. Apart from normal breads, We'll have banana bread, almond bread, bread and everything. And we'll have the sliced ones and the normal ones. So business in Nigeria is, um, needs more than just um, hard work, um, perseverance, consistency, and um, business relationships. Um, relationship in Nigeria is um, another name for networking. Relationship in Nigeria is what you know, makes things easier for us. And I think um, in everything we do, um, relationship is very key and it's something that have helped me in Nigeria. Um, since I moved back to Nigeria and started my business in Nigeria, that's by 11 years now. This Sarai Luxury has um, been existing for 11 years. So it's been a tough, tough, tough um, business environment. But again, I appreciate all the opportunities in Nigeria. Um, Nigeria is an emerging market. So there's a lot of opportunities in Nigeria. And those opportunities, the challenges is where the opportunities come from. COVID took everyone by surprise. Um, initially when COVID started, we, you know, just watching on CNN, um, COVID in China, we just thought it was far from us. It was never going to come back to come to Africa. Um, but the truth is, when COVID came, um, especially March 2020, um, when the lockdown came, it was surprising to us. So for the first time for me in 10 years, where um, there was no revenue, zero revenue um, for those period of lockdown. And for us as a business, it made me evolve as a business. And I started thinking about other opportunities across the entire chain outside just um, concentrating on just the hospitality market and yeah you know it was an opportunity for me to think about how to create um, more range across our home test type business and that's how we went into hospitality uniform from aprons to uh, um, home test type like table linens um, hot place carriers so it's, it's kind of increased our range and you know as a retail space the more range you have um, the better opportunities for customers to increase the size of their shopping basket so that's what um, covid has done for us it's made us evolve as a company and look towards other uh, basic essentials that people will need more in their houses and um, yeah that's what we've done yeah, looking at nigerian textile industry is quite um I'm challenging at the moment. Um, you know, um, to be honest, we don't really have the quality of um, fabrics in Nigeria that, you know, for my audiences want. So what that means is um, the fabrics are actually determined by the grams per square meter. So for example, um, the towers, you need very top quality towers that are in the region of between 7 to 900 um, GSM to, for hospitality business because of the rate at which they wash these things regularly. 
So, you know, and we don't really get many Nigerian businesses or many Nigerian garments um, production companies that really produ produce those high quality products. Well, simply because, again, the cost of production, the, you know, the power and things like that. So I've, I've spoken to some investors who are quite interested in going into this industry. But when you look at the cost of production and setting up this factory, um, it's, it's not a very easy thing for mid-sized businesses like us to jump into. So well, we, it's something that we're looking into. Um, the fact that we have um, cuttings and places in the north. Um, but again, a business must have enough retained earnings you know, to be able to bankroll such um, garment production ventures. And that's where, that's not where we are at the moment as a business. The three things I like and dislike as being a CEO. Well, being a CEO is quite interesting. Uh, initially, when we were growing as a business, not spending enough time with family. So I think those are one of those challenges and part of business that, you know, um, I, I, I don't really like. So I want to spend more time with my family. Thank you.